Once upon a time, in a peaceful hermitage deep in the forest, lived a young disciple and his wise master. This disciple had a big problem. He was incredibly lazy. He always put off today's work until tomorrow, and then delayed it even further. Because of this, all his tasks piled up, and he fell behind in his studies. His master, who cared deeply for him, noticed this bad habit and worried about his future. One day, the master came up with a clever plan to teach his disciple a valuable lesson. He approached the young man holding a small black stone in his hand. Listen carefully, the master said. This is no ordinary stone, it's a philosopher's stone, with the magical power to turn iron into gold. I'm giving it to you so that you can make as much gold as you want, but there's a catch. I'm leaving now and will return by tomorrow evening. When I come back, I will take the stone back from you, so you have until then to use it. The disciple was thrilled. He thought, wow, I can make endless gold with this stone. But then he started to overthink. He wondered where he could find enough iron to turn into gold. He decided he would go to the market the next day to buy a lot of scrap iron and then use the stone to get rich. But as the evening set in, his old lazy habits returned. He thought, it's getting late. I'll eat dinner now, go to sleep and handle everything tomorrow morning. So he went to bed dreaming of becoming rich the next day. The next morning, he woke up and thought, I have the whole day ahead of me. I'll have breakfast first, and then I'll go to the market. But after breakfast, he started feeling sleepy again. He thought, there's still plenty of time. I can rest for a bit before going to the market. So he lay down to rest and fell asleep. When he finally woke up, he realized that the sun was already setting. Panicked, he rushed out to the hermitage to go to the market only to find his master standing at the doorstep. The master, with a disappointed look, took the stone back and said, Your time is up. The disciple begged for more time, but the master refused. A lazy person like you can't accomplish anything in life, the master said. You had 24 hours to turn as much iron as you wanted into gold, but because of your laziness, you did nothing. I will not give you the stone for even one more second. This is your punishment. The man who does not value time will achieve nothing. The disciple stood there, embarrassed and regretful. He had missed a golden opportunity because of his laziness. But he also understood the important lesson his master had taught him. From that day on, he vowed never to be lazy again, and to always make good use of his time. You see in life, in your life, time is precious, and procrastination can lead to missed opportunities. If you don't value your time and take action when you have the chance, you may end up with nothing but regret. To achieve success and make the most of your potential, you must overcome laziness and use your time wisely. It's okay to have a lazy day once in a while. But remember, it's not only about success, it is about your life. So go out there and live your life. Don't be lazy even in your leisure time. Climb new mountains, make new friends. New adventures are waiting for you out there every day, every hour of your life, because one day you will wake up and it will be too late. Use your time now. It is fleeting. Thank you so much for watching, and stay blessed.